Well, good morning ladies and gents. Here we are at uh, Spooky Woods. Just out for the day, a few hours. Here is the main man. And he's doing that indicating again. And here we see uh, Al, RF, so uh, <laughs> obviously uh, bang on the old admin sir, bang on the old, can't take the mic out of that. Very nice. And there's uh, bacon as well. Dean filling his face already, unusual. That's good bacon that, Alan. You're, you're, <laughs> you're head to foot full Raven today, sir, aren't you? Yep. And a pack, sir, I'm just saying. That's it. Over there. With hey. Very, uh, very Raven here, sir. That's all, that's all I've got to say about that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, getting it done. There's Mr. Baldrick there. Where are you, Mr. Baldrick? Bless, Al said he was going to bring breakfast and I told Baldrick yesterday and he kept coming up to me, jumping on my lap and going, Yeah, Dad, 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 can you, can you tell me about the bacon bit again? And I was like, right. I've told you three times already, Baldrick, and he went, Yeah, I, do, I just like hearing about bacon. <laughs> bacon! <laughs> so I love you, Dean, I love you, don't I? I love you. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to shut up and get some, some uh, breakfast kindly provided by the Royal Air Force. <laughs> Emphasis on the Royal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you got the old, um, oh, uh, Ridge Monkey Square Burner, mate. There yeah, remember, oh, the rouse about that online, like, you know, and they, yeah, the blokes were buying, they got kettles and that, but it was because it was square, they was buying the Ridge Monkey Square kettle. And then, like, I watched it and it was just amazing online on the old um, ship book or Facebook, like, um, there were blokes arguing that because it's square and it's got a bigger surface area, it's going to boil more quickly and, and stuff like that. And it, there were blokes doing ball tests on the square kettles and the round kettles and one was going, oh, but that's an aluminium kettle and, that, and that's a titanium kettle and that one's staying. It was... It, it, Talking it off. Well, I just thought... It, you know, it went to about 160 sort of comments on that. And some geezers were, like, proper... Girly in it, like you know what I mean? Trying to justify buying a square kettle when you don't need one. <laughs> well, you got to say is, look, I like it. I want one. Yeah, I know, but there was like doing like scientific tests on the square kettle and a round kettle and all that, you know. And what's the um, uh, the mean burn area, which is judged by the actual where the flame hits and not the air. Oh, it's oh, anyway. I'll shut up anyway. But it was it was it just you know sometimes you look at it with amazement. Look at it with amazement. I've got some bacon for here, friend. Dean. I've got some bacon here for. Oh, have you? Oh, yeah. He kept saying to me, Can you tell me the bit about the bacon again, Dad? <laughs> he said, I like hearing that. Well, anyway, I better shut up. Little do you know, you're getting, getting some. Gotta let it cool down first. Uh, he said, I love Al, don't I, Dad? I love Al. Uh, so, have you seen these noodles? These are the best. Right, ladies and gents, here's the old uh, Matilda pack. Yeah. Uh, lockdown purchase um, and uh, yeah I'm, I'm proper rocking this at the moment uh, kind of just set it up a little bit more to how I want it the idea is um, I'll just have one burger and I can just it's already packed put food put water in it and come out for the days and stuff like that um, but what I did do in between the last the last room and this is go to the bushcraft show just co part at Allen down there. it's not too far away it's only about 40 minutes and uh, bought two of these uh, Helicon Techs, I think they call um, Escape and Evasion pouches, 24 quid each. I was quite surprised because I didn't have them in, in stock at the Bushcraft store, but on the rack they had them. So, you know, I actually went down there with something I was thinking about getting anyway. So I've got two for 50 quid. And like I say, I've still got my little wiper pouch there. It's got all my uh, petrol burner in it and that, and all my petrol on that side. Oh, a coffee in there, sir. And uh, these three big pouches, very re reminiscent of the old um, Alice pack. And like I say, they've all got a slippy down thing. And uh, stick, stick the old axe in there. See that? Dave Wakeman made me that cover for me axe. Bless you. Yeah. 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 See what it says Mac on it? Oh, brilliant bit of work, mate. Brilliant bit of work. But uh, here we go. Oh, that's Mr. Baldrick. Oh, having to sit down after his bacon. But like I say, I had a green patch on there last time, but yeah, I'll stick that on there. Um, I've got a couple of projects with this in mind as well. And uh, there's some Al. Al was a time served fireman and uh, paramedic, and uh, we, he does that now. Do you know, a lot of the football matches and stuff, he won't mind me saying. 
Um, it's got a you know, when they have the ambulance there and all that, and when one of the footballers breaks an owl and they go running around on the floor, it's 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 owl and his mate you see trotting out to sort it out with a stretcher. But um, that's one of them quick release ones. Hey, just give us all, just give us all. A uh, pull off, grab and run. No, they come from like military design from Afghanistan and that. But they're really great bits of kit. I'm not opening up because it is a full bang on the whole thing, including the pouch. Didn't you, Al? Sorry. You give us a lot, didn't you? The pouch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pleasure. I know it's your thing though, mate, isn't it? No, it's, it's bang on. I'll have a look in that later on. But yeah, you're not seeing it, so you can just grab it, flick a buckle, pull it off, and, and, and you're going to run to wherever the casualty is. Um, and that's a cracking bit of kit, sir. So well deserving. I mean, someone gives you a bit of kit and it's a dog's danglies, you have it on your kit all the time, don't you? But yeah, I'm proper loving that. I think I was that impressed when we went down there. Um, he had some vouchers from uh, his birthday and so forth for uh, about 50 quid's worth or summer and uh, yeah, he uh, bought one. Uh, I got the adaptive green <laughs> which is on his grab really and he, he got a beige one but um, I got a couple of water bottle patches that I'm going to shoot to him because it'll go on there um, but anyway yeah I'm proper loving this little pack it's actually got some weight in it today actually got some weight in it today there's a few bits I want to have a little play about with but uh, yeah uh, worth the money that yeah Baldrick come here Baldy, come here. Baldy, come here. Sharps, come here. So really, when you're doing your racks, you don't really want to come past halfway. Mm. It's a bit too close to your for that. Baldy. That's it, good boy. This one's yeah. always a little bit awkward. So you can either do that or you can just take it off in a nice way and it feels more comfortable. Yeah. And when you've done that, just straighten off your back. That's the wedge to the spatula bit. Yeah, so you can make it as thin as you want now. Yeah. yeah. Interested to see what it comes out like, mate. I've, I've talked Dean all he knows. <laughs> <laughs> we can't abuse, are we? Because he's just done the bacon rolls, isn't no, he? Sausages. Exactly, yeah, he's got that leeway today. Yeah, no, I, I said I can't abuse him for an hour. You know what I mean? <laughs> Is it up yet? Well, I don't know, mate. But it's coming near, isn't it? No. No good skills, mate. No, that's. Well, you know, actually, I just think you're both of you are just making a mess, but there you go. <laughs> Baldy, and Mr. Baldy, you know, right, telling off on cam, sharp, she don't go near people. Oh, sorry about that, Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got a lovely little mat for him, and he just lays on the ground. But anyway, ladies and gents, why these two um, lifters of shirts? <laughs> Especially the RF one. No, um, I've just brought me little uh, tarpy out, got me a little pole, um, and kind of set up a little shelter. Now the tarpy just can't get them no more. It's the uh, uh, Danish cam. Um, comes in 180 as opposed to 150. Um, four ounce nylon, got it, some of it, and just that's it. I mean, it, this thing's about five years old now, the tarpy. Adapted, modified, a little design. Mike Smith shot me a picture and that kind of. Uh, my one's not exactly the same, but it's near enough anyway. But it's. Uh, the actual tarp here itself is just designed to better a military tarp um, and it can go up on the ridge line or as you can see there it really really opens it up when you put a pole on it very adaptable and uh, yeah weighs less than a military tarp and that's 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 all it was meant to better not be a fantastic shelter but obviously the reason why you can't, I got this material and you can't get any more is 
because sometimes there was a misprint and you can probably see it there there's a little white like Zorro stripe there so I've just bunged a bit of um, uh, paint on it to be honest but okay this is dipping down I know that's not brilliant but uh, just wanted a, a working shelter over the front of it and this is some of it I went back and revisited and I looked at that and I thought Do you know what I'll, I'll get round that but I should have checked really because this is quite a wide shelter you can see why this um, I'm just doing a proof of concept here, see if I need any more tie-out points, but ideally that would go to there and that'd be, uh, you could bounce a two bob bit on that, especially when you've got a tie-out from that one, that corner, and the other corner. But it's just proof of concept, or that was moved six inches forward. But as we can see, here's so you got you either guide up to a guideline, or uh, stick a pole underneath it so it's free sanding. Uh, five six pegs and that's it okay and there's a little secret in the construction there's only the one seam on that and that's it ladies and gents and all that is at the front is uh i'm thinking on it that would be uh a top over the top now ideally that would be right underneath the pole but as i say my trees ain't um, wide enough and then that could literally be over that so water would run off the back um, and that's it yeah um, very easily carryable durable shelter and this thing can be used on its own obviously that's what I originally designed it for um, and it's very very long and uh, 180 wide and that would be my middle guy line so that would be a frame very close to the ground and you wouldn't get wet yeah, uh, and you just can't get the material elsewhere, ladies and gents. But coming underneath, as we can see, and because uh, that, that's designed to pull right over that. But uh, there's a little toggle, so you can take it to a uh, ridge line if you want. And uh, my little pole there, my little walk in pole, and uh, obviously, I put. Um, Cord round the top there, power cord, uh, and that, that, that I think it was originally um, a professional painter's uh, roller stick. I, I, I skip dived that. <laughs> Mrs. went mad, but you can't get things like that. And that's it. And all I've done is uh, brought it up, kept it simple, and uh, I'll be at me as a little sand boy in there. You know, be on the other side of the pole. I've slept in that uh, when it's been lashing it down, proper lashing it down, and uh, it's quite dis deceptive because uh, it's nearly from there to there is almost 180, so it's near enough two meters wide. But yep, I've had a little play about with that, and I'm very happy with that. Just that this thing here on the initial setup would need to be moved over, um, and that's it, guys. I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, all self-made, and uh, if, if Ray Mears come up and wanted one, I couldn't make him one because unless he can get the material. But it'd need a lot of material for Ray Mears, isn't that right, lads? Because he's a fat git. Well, be better though. Oh, well, of course it'd be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Anyway, crack it on. Where's the med kit? <laughs> Gonna need it. Because no. you can jam it up there, mate, as yeah. well, mate. Yeah. That's what I mean. Uh, that little shape there, obviously I'll put my coffee cup on it, but again it makes a nice little working area for doing your, your carving and stuff mate. I was going to carve a spoon today, but I started mucking about with my, my, my shelters. Now we will have a thing sir, mine's shelters isn't it? Yeah. That's it mate, slowly slowly does it. You don't have to go no faster than you want to do you mate. Yeah. But we have got to get home today, mate, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Stop laughing. Eyes down, sir. Eyes down. Oh, nice one. Now, see, it does work there, mate, doesn't it? Yeah. And uh, you can actually sit on that block of wood, grip it with your thighs. <laughs> you're filth, sir. You're, you're proper filth. And to think, mate, the first time you come over, yeah, and I met you, and I thought, 
No, I thought, oh, he's, he's a bit posh, he is. We won't, we won't see him again. <laughs> Fuck, I'll get rid of you now. You know, I've some Go, mate, let's have a little, just to catch up. I know the troops like this sort of thing. It's all bushy crafty. That's it. Yeah, you could be, be getting a, a, a light. Lines. I mean, Ray Mears won't give that a light, but, but, <laughs> but Bear Grylls, he would. He likes anything, doesn't he? Yeah. We need big anyway, swift, swift, swiftly moving on. I mean, he wouldn't need a spoon, would he, Bear Grylls? Because he eats, like, from the, he eats cow poo. Room. Yeah, he eats cow poos, doesn't he? And I've uh, got Mr. Baldrick yeah. over here. What are you doing, Barney? Don't you be chasing uh, bees no more. You get a sting, mate, and it cost me a fortune out of it. Baldy! There I said, at least you're keeping away from the lads when they're doing the shops. Good lad. And in uh, typical Blue Peter style, ladies and gents, there's one that uh, Dean's made earlier. There you go. And uh, made it with Dan Day's permission. And I'm thinking, mate, as a butt plug, you're not very experienced, mate. That's gonna like proper chafe as it goes in, isn't it? Dean, that's gonna proper chafe, sir. I think you might need to round that off with a bit of sandpaper. That might. Might... Well, oh, that's gonna make your eyes water, sir. And it may even make my eyes water when I've got plenty of experience with uh, butt plugs. Now, it's, it's a lovely, um, got a lovely finish on it, mate. It's just a bit. Yeah. Oof. I mean, that is proper sharp as well. No, that's a nice little bit. And, oh, bless you. You, you give that to Al, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, bless you. Oh, that's what a... Yeah. Yeah. Put your knee on the stump, mate. That'd help. Stop it moving anyway. Yeah. Sometimes you can get a knot and it just won't let you do what you want to do. Uh, it's like a woman. It's like a woman, isn't it? It might be just like the back of that we have to take off. Mm. Yeah. If you put your knee on that, mate. I'm just, yeah, now see, I'll just give you a bit of a, otherwise it's a bit dangerous, mate. I am a health and safety guy and I'm proper on it. Because if you get injured, I have to walk home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so, sorry, so I can't blame you for doing nothing. That's what I say, come out. Oh, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, oh. Sorry, Dean, just while you're not actually chopping, mate, did I mention that Gaylord T-shirt, did I? <laughs> Twice now. Twice, is that? Oh, I was just saying. Thanks, Eddie. Oh, sorry. I'm glad you're quite street about this uh, fashion and stuff. It looks like it's going to have a nice grain in it, mate. Just turn that over the yeah. other side. Yeah. It's folded. So I'll try and get it. Give it a moment and come in. Yeah, it's going to look a... Yeah. Yeah. Is this you popping your, your virginity, sir? Yeah. Excellent. No. Yeah, go on, mate. Go on, mate. I've only ever done one knife, yeah, seriously, I've only ever done, sorry, one spoon, I was down David's prize and I was just, the only time I've ever been like proper quiet quiet and I was chipping away and banging away and banging away, it's my first one I've finished, yeah, I've started a few, uh, and it was a bloody good spoon mate, uh, yeah, no, I've got pictures to prove it, it was that good, you know how good it was, no. when I got home, the wife nicked it. I'm not kidding, I'm not sure she's used it, but she's nicked it. So I've done one spoon and I did it well, been there, done that, let's crack on. <laughs> I've got another shelter to make. Yeah, yes, I know you just get your knife on it. Yeah. You can probably take a bit more off the back of it, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Do you want your turn? Yeah, that's right. Ooh, more so bang. Again, you cut that at a slight angle. Yeah. I'm just going to get this in close up so, to help Ray Mears because sometimes I know he watches my films. Yeah, Ray, that's how it's done, sir. Yeah, just like that, mate. You didn't take the angle by your left arm, could you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just keeping it away from your hands, really. Yeah. Yeah. Tricks of the trade are coming out here. Yeah. All the secrets are coming out now. <laughs> I'll bring you back when that's finished, ladies and gents.
Right, let's have a look at your new axe here. Uh, yeah, kind gift from Wonder Essence. And the spoon. Oh, well, like spatula. That, spatula. That's a, I really love the old rough old grip on that, you know. It's got yeah. a nice grain, the grip and that. But that's a nice little gift boy, mate. Well, you've been like swapping kit. Yeah, dibbles, kind of dibbles. Not, not dibbles, isn't it, the gentleman? And, uh, yeah. <laughs> wax on the oil on that. Looks like a bit of a. Well, I suppose you could use it as a, a butter knife as well, see? Yeah. Yeah. Multi put, aye. Multi, aye. A bit of a you butter knife on a spatula. <laughs> a bit of a spatula. <laughs> But I still, I still not get that in me bum. <laughs> <laughs> I would that though. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lovely little axe, that mate. Yeah, 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 very nice. And what I do like, and I think everyone likes it, I know he shot you a bit of kit um, for your one of your interests, mate, because you're bang on it. Yeah, uh -huh. And then, yeah, you thought, you know, I've got that in the shed and it's, 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 it's proper, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, exchange of goods or services. Yeah, <laughs> yeah quick one off the wrist, mister. Yeah, quick one. <laughs> and uh, as we go for a carving, I haven't done, I've been missing about with my shelters and that, but I've got a carving kit, ladies and gents. Uh, uh, and there it is. Um, I was been using a couple of knives and that. Um, but I'm only one handed here. And, uh, you know, yeah. that's a little one where you pared it down, yeah. mate, didn't you? Yeah. Um, oh, I can't remember the guy's name. Um, he, he made that. Well, it's a, it's a blank and he made up a knife, and I won it on a raffle years ago. Uh, ever sharp, mate, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because when it comes to sharpening things, killy things, ooh, cutty things, oh, I'm proper on it, sir. Um, and this was, um, everybody that's got that, including David Swires, I love the handles on this. Uh, and you like this little, the little, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's got that, uh, that one, and it comes with a, you know, a spoony thing. I don't know all the posh words, David Fares does, bless him. And a little strop and that, ladies and gents. And that didn't come to too much money at all. I'm going to flick out uh, Dean the link for that. You know, in there I've got all my me, me sharpening bits. And some proper, hey, hey, Ray music, you're right. That's a proper carpenter's pencil, that is. That is isn't it? No, that's proper. And it, it, see where it's got like man shaved as well, not with no light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, a couple of strops there. Drops and leather, and that's got um, leather on that wood and that. Ooh, what do I keep in here? Oh, oh, oh. Because David Fares, I, I tell you what, he'd be sitting there and say, Ed, nice kit. Be, be even nicer if I see you freaking use it. <laughs> I've only done the one night. Uh, and that, that's the product to me. That's a little um, ball that used to be part of a spatula. And I just cut the handle off, rounded it off, and it's just nice to sit in there. And that's uh, obviously a strop, because you've got to keep all your bits. What I did do, I'll tell you what, it is in there that's somewhere. Um, do you know when you go in these fancy shops where they've got all the, you know, the the stones and, and, and you know, and Buddhas and, you know, all them sorts, and, the you know, the, the, the wish things? Well, this was a little thing that used to go... Yeah, one of them. So I bought that. Then, obviously, all I've done with a nice bit of leather is... Uh, Stuck it on there, I mean that's owning paste and that. I did do a good job on it because you can't even see the join unless you know it's there. And uh, obviously when you've got your knives like that, no, difficult to do it one handed. Obviously you can strop on the inside and round on the outside. But you know, I think about one or two quid for the old thing. Well, yeah, right. um, so I made myself a little, I make all the kits sometimes I do that sitting there watching all your films and so forth and then it's a job done. But, uh, see, that was one that was made by me, I just knocked one up. And this is a dangerous one, because what you've got to remember is you can't do that, because it's a, a double-sided uh, cut knife. And I like the shallow cut on that one. Put this there, so I've got a lot of blades out with no sheaves. And I made that sheaf for this. Just bang it out of the machine. Uh, and that's your standard, I think that's a, probably a standard mora. I mean, they're all razor sharp, but when you know when you ain't been in there for a little bit, need a bit of a, just a bit of a, they can become a bit tarnished. But anyway, yeah, yeah. So Dave, that's that's, that's me, me Ray Mears, eat your heart out. Um, you know, wood wood, wood crafting kit, but yeah, as yeah, Dave said, and I see bloody use it, you fat twat. <laughs> oh, and I've just starting to take down, ladies and gents. And that's the tarpy on its own, as you can see, um, freestanding, 
got my little pole in there. You can just use a bit of wood if you wanted to. Um, and that's it, you know, you're on the other side of that pole and you've got full length there. I mean, that's nearly two and a bit metres. That's about 250, I think. And I'll put a mark, put the end of the wood there, and there is, you won't see it, but there's a sharpie mark there, and that will give you exact length, yeah, to get that pole just right. You know, when I got the pole just right, marked it with a sharpie, dead easy, simple. There's Mr. Baldwin, what are you doing? Yeah. I think I think um, Baldrick's like shovel wreck you now he's doing a perimeter patrol see if we've got any gooks in the wire <laughs> uh, but you popped the cherry there how oh, didn't you oh sorry mate you're on you're on call <laughs> some you got to answer sir it's like oh look oh people were just admiring your pencil sharpener then <laughs> bless him he's had a good day i had to shout at him a little bit because i don't have him going near anybody that's got a sharp because he's he'll jump up at people bless him yeah sorry lads uh ladies and gents here's his owl's little spatula and uh you know, butter spoon Nice, nice. It's quite nice and smooth, mate. I know you're going to work on it. But myself, I've got the kit there. This is just for my technical advisor, David Fairs, because I've been doing a bit of the old uh, carving at home and that. And I'm, you know, I've got my quality control down to putt. And uh, yeah, do you know, there's my little knives. And I'll tell you, it took me ages to put all them little nodules in there. You know, for like when you're cutting your steaks and 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 your sea bass and all that type of stuff. And I must admit. This isn't too good, lot, like, because it's only my first one I carved, but there's my little spoon, and like, these are ones I just want to carry in my top pocket, like, and I just think they're, they're, they're bang on it, yeah? A um, little bit muddy there, but again, Mike Smith, that's because they've been used, you know, that's why, mate. But anyway, so I'm just, like, bang on it now with my carving, because um, I can't be carrying too much weight about, so I made them nice and thin, guys, and that's got proper got an early thing, so it'll cut, like, proper, you know, bison and buffalo and that, because I'm proper... Grizzly Adams on this, but there you go, ladies and gents. There's the old um, Mike uh, Mac type wood carving, and you know, I think even Dave Cantry, he, he'd be like proper chuffed with that. But yeah, and Ray Mears. <laughs> there we go. There's the old uh, med kit. I was uh, giving the lads most of the lads one. This one's got the old Velcro on the back, and. Uh, And uh, yeah, that's right, mate. Um, obviously, the guy knows what he's on about. Yeah, it's all what I'm in there, and the Queen's chem lights, sorry, chem lights, tough cut scissors, micro pour tape, rescue blankets, you know, um, bandages, uh, you know, enough to, for you to mummify your granny. And uh, what's in there, all the different plasters and antiseptic wipes and that, and that just flicks over. Big bandage, big bandage, you know, the disposable sort of gloves and so forth, and more bandages and stuff. Ah, it's, um, it's a proper eye washes and stuff. Um, it's a proper kit you got here, mate. I do appreciate that. But that's... Ow. In there. Hey. Medic bloke. And uh, I really do like the way that comes off uh, the kit, whatever you've got it on. The idea is you can do that, it's on your belt in the arm and you just pull it off and it's right in front of you. One zip and it's done. But yeah, nice, nice, nice little bit of kit there. And it's uh, obviously always going to go out with me. But cheers for that, Al. Just giving you a bit of a shout out on that, mate. Nice one. Nice. Right, ladies and gents, I haven't really been doing too much for him. Mean. Baldrick, what are you eating? He's eating the... Oh, oh, give me a bone, yeah, bless him. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm out with a couple of girlies. He's come over, first two drops of rain, and they're all packed up to go home. <laughs> Tina, have I mentioned that Gaylord t shirt, have I? Oh, well, yeah, fair enough, that's it. Oh, look, look, fireman's bum. <laughs> God, it was a bit of, a, bit of a, an eclipse of the sun there, mate, <laughs> when you bent over. <laughs> No, and it, there's the main man, Mr. Baldrick. Um, how much bacon is it? He, he's proper on it, isn't he? Three rashes and two sausages. Oh, he said, he said, I fucking love hell, don't I, Dad? I fucking <laughs> love hell. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, right, if he poos on the carpet, mate, I'm giving you a call. <laughs> so, how are you liking your little. Um... Yeah, very good, yeah. From the tool bag. Yeah. Yeah, comfortable. Yeah. These, uh, straps to it for me. Yeah, see the wider, don't yeah. need to be too padded, mate. It's the width that takes the uh, spreads the load, sir, yeah. doesn't it? Spreads the load. These little straps, it conforms to you, as yeah. opposed to UM to fit the bag. So, yeah, yeah very right, good. So, yeah. um, all right, no, that's what you were saying earlier on, mate. Obviously, just a couple of pouches, um, but yeah, so you, uh, you can have them, mate. There's no worries. Uh, but they will take a 58 mate and a Crusader yeah. mug in there, yeah. With your brew kits in there and walk purification in there. Come on, going all military again, isn't I? <laughs> but I've got another one, mate. Just It yeah. was on the table and the wife's moved it and next time we'll, I'll see you. I'll, that way you can put them on the, possibly on the, the waste belt, mate. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, you can put you to put the water bottles in them especially, do you? The nice little patches in their own right. <sighs> That's my little, my little one over there. Mm. But yeah, anyway, ladies and gents, uh, don't know what I've got to do is just get the, the, the filming out and some of the crack and the, and the banter has just been a bit missed, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you were the victim. That's why you don't film this is a way to Did I mention the. Oh no 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 that's 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 definitely YMCA so yeah probably says dick sucker or something like that don't <laughs> I'm just saying no um but the uh, red flask oh how quaint yeah. and it was me thinking that was your vibrator <laughs> he nicked it off the wife that's she don't watch my films does she that's a best boss uh, colours that is is it yeah oh. I fly on the corporate flag yeah so what, what colour do they call that? Menstrual cycle red or what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look. That's a proper nice cut that is, isn't it? Clean canteens. That's a bit, bit Ray Mears, mate, you know what I mean? Nice little lid. Yeah, what's the matter with a 58 water bottle, sir? Yeah. It's not red. <laughs> oh, fair enough, alright, we'll just leave it there. Gay! <laughs> <laughs> Don't insult the Struben, you know, they cost that much, mate. I'll get down. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. He's already tried to kill me today with his cooking. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was it. Uh, you was impressed with my spoon and fork that I've carved, mate, weren't you? That was you? excellent. I can't believe how that was. Well, I'm, I'm bang on it, but I just breaking. wanted to keep that a bit secret, like before I review it. I want to get my skills right up there, anyway. Swiftly moving on. I'm going to do a spoon next, and it'll be, you know. As long as it's not with me. How does it turn? Molly? You want Molly? A biscuit? Oh, well, it's chocolate biscuit, sir. Chocolate biscuit in the woods. Thank you very much. See, that is proper. Oh, God. Get one of them. There's either a partridge or a pheasant there. Pheasant. Yeah, pheasant. Yeah. Aldrich, go and get your dinner. Go on, boy. Go on, boy. Oh, no, look. He's there. Look, chocolate, chocolate, look. He goes, I love you, Dean. Don't I? Aldrich. Aldrich. He's a bit... A bit. Yeah. It's a bit rude, don't really want him doing that, mate, but again, it's just a dog in here. Oh, he's got a bite. See, you're, you're trying to rob my dog, aren't you? And don't get me wrong, mate, he's a little pointy fucker. He'll go home with you. <laughs> he, come, he comes running out the door going, where's Al, where's Al, where's Al? <laughs> Don't he? Jumps in your motor. He goes, come on, you fat, get fast speed. <laughs> uh, oh, bald it. You had, a, you, you, you had a right result today. He says, oh, I love all these boys, don't I? Oh, I love all these boys. But anyway, it's uh, goodbye from Al and Ray Mears. <laughs> Take care, ladies and gents. Here's 40 shillings on the drum. <laughs>